match plays on, excuse me. Uh, just see what happens. But again, jumping on board with Rated. Looks like immediately Splice is going to be going for the three-man push over towards A. Now, looks like I want to say Vance is going to be able to pick something up with that sniper early. And Abel's going to be the only one over here. And Rated might be the first one to get into an engagement. Meanwhile, you see Clayster highlighted on your main map. Set up first blood. Oh, he saw his foot. 100% yeah, no, saw his foot. No way he didn't. He's just going to play this very safe. Doesn't shoot until he have to. Rated takes out an Abel. Rated good eyes on that one, of course. Now you can see the phase players beginning to rotate back. Clacer coming up through the water to get a control. Josh, though, oh, he definitely got spotted. That's going to have two players challenging him. Base is going to, or Bance, excuse me, going to peek up. Now there's a player on the stairs trying to find Clacer, following him in the water. And again, that is why information is key. Bance is able to call him out. It might take Josh a few seconds to uh, figure out exactly where Clacer is going to be heading, but he's able to get that pick. 4v2 situation for Splice, and look at what they're doing. Immediately oh, going back to the beautiful. rotation for B, and now FaZe is going to be on the hunt. This is beautiful because they have that 4v2 numbers advantage. It would be very hard for FaZe to take control of this B side if all players on Splice are able to stay alive. That bomb is now down, and Josh is going to pull both of these FaZe players away. That ends up helping because he buys time for his teammates to make sure that bomb is down and gets set up. Zuma working from the back. Tash going to be going for that wall run mid, but now that his teammates have fallen, there's not much he can do. And he's going to get two bursted by the RK5. The RK5 is pretty good at that, especially at close range. I feel like it is a one burst machine. You'd rather have the RK5 than the M8 out in so many situations like that for good reason as well. Uh, either way, though, unfortunate for, I believe it was Zuma, who's, or not Zuma, whoever's foot it was, they got called out just, you know, sliding past that tree. Unfortunate situation. You got to be very very aware of your uh, player orientation, but uh, good first blood by Rated, good information from Bant to allow Josh to run in and get the next kill as well. So good stuff so far out of splice for round number one. All right, Faye is now on the attack. Attach, remember, has the sniper in his back pocket. Expect to pull him out as soon as he goes around this corner, and there we go. Doesn't spot the splice player going into the water. He's just waiting, I believe. That might be Vance. It's not Vance on the other side of this one. It's actually rated Joe and Josh. Oh, no. Picking up two attached, barely survives getting into the water. He's now found himself in a 1v3. Well, attached just juke the living hell out of that player that jumped in the water of him. But uh, Spice is definitely going to have a, a pretty decent idea of where Attach is going to be coming from. You see all three players kind of looking uh, in any general direction. Now that he's got concussed, he's going to get pushed very quickly. Attach not able to win the gunfight, the concussion too strong. So uh, in that situation, what you saw was Two players falling for phase. Attach is forced to go over and attempt to get a trade. But perfect timing by the player that was on B-Bomb for Slice. I believe it was rated. As soon as his teammates pick up the kills, he knows someone's going to be pushing down that area. Immediately picks out and check. Leaves Attach one shot by shooting him the side. So perfect game awareness coming out of Splice. Going to help his teammates in support. And again, going up two rounds to none. Well, I do want to see Rated once again. And Joe starting this one. 3 and 0, oh, so combined Bomb 5 Shriek on the side of Splice. And Joe's very close to that psychosis. And looks like another A push coming out. Bance making things interesting with the sniper rifle early on. Unfortunately, not able to connect, but his teammate Joe gets the first blood on Quaster. Yep, and Attach has the sniper as well. He was over by the B bomb site, but of course, nothing going down over there. So, you're going to see what happens. It looks like FaZe is just going to still play this patiently with three players spread across the map. Obviously, last time around, you saw that the rotation came in from a Splice that caught the remaining players for FaZe, Zuma and uh, Attach off guard. Now, though, again, it's a different 2v4. A Naval and Attach got to go again. And again, as we saw in the very first round, the rotation has come in. They're getting the bomb down at B, and it is incredibly difficult for players to break into this, especially when it's a 4v2. And he puts the sniper away at pretty much the worst possible time. Throwing a trophy system down, but he's getting challenged out. Rated win, hits gun fight, Joe wins his. Nothing FaZe can do. And again, this is backs against the wall. This is do or die. Yeah. And FaZe again is getting manhandled so far in search and destroy. It. I can't believe what I'm seeing right now. It just sets up another 2v4 and attach and able to try and set up a pinch. One going from mid, gonna spot anyone, possibly pick up a pick and then go to the other side and they engage around cave but there the push just completely falls apart now joe's on a five street rated on a three if joe picks up another kill that's two search and destroys in a row where someone starts six and zero against phase pretty impressive stuff phase though on the attack they have four players playing or three players playing aggressively over towards a one player is kind of hanging back josh is going to get called out at the very least one shot inside the water looks like no one from phase is going to be pushing into the a bomb site quite yet to go for the trade so josh is going to be able to watch his back zuma definitely spotted that player in the back psychosis gets called and that 
is a very awkward situation that FaZe has put themselves in. Three players trapped inside the building. Oh, they push man. out. Fans win the first. Free fires for the second. Gets some tags up. Zuma a little bit. Zuma, though, still able to win both gunfights. And now that is going to be advantage for FaZe. Rated now left alive in a one versus three. So you saw FaZe turtle up for a moment. But Zuma picking up the two-piece completely opens up the map in their favor. Now FaZe doing the smart thing, doing the splice with splice to them, rotating for B, getting the free bomb plant down. And it is a much easier bomb site to watch, especially in, in a 3v1. Interesting play out of phase. I mean, if Zuma doesn't pick that up, if he just ends up falling, it's really interesting because they just let the first kill go completely in opposite direction, and then he pushes into the site alone. Doesn't have any backup. Now Raiden oh picks gosh. up two. That gives him streaks going forward. Splice is like, hey, we can lose this round. It's a 3v1. All you got to do is play for streaks, and he does exactly what he has to do. I'm going to be honest. I feel really bad for Zoom in that situation. I think he just got one burst of Bar the Arctic. <laughs> like, he insta-died. Like, that is not good. Apparently, Raiden is just shooting cannons out of that tiny little pistol. But either way, again, FaZe doing a decent job to get back on the round. Kind of curious as to how Splice is going to play this offensive round. You do see they have the, uh, uh, what is that, the dart that they have to work with. I imagine they're probably going to use that and fly it through B. Of course, now you see actual four phase players going over towards A. It looks like two might be pushed up a little bit aggressively, but hanging out towards A. And now you see just how important the previous rounds were. Phase has completely stacked the opposite bomb site. This is a free B bomb site plant for Splice. Oh, my. Pants getting ready to come around the corner. The possibly pick up the on. first kill on Zuma. Zuma spots him. Nice Able shots. Clean that one up very, very close as he was going around the corner. Now Josh in a position to spot one player for phase that will go on the push. That's attached as they're trying to get ready to set up for this retake. They need to play this very slowly. Josh spotted, taken out. There's one player in the middle of the map. That's Joe. He's not able to pick up the kill, so he's going to put a lot of pressure here on Raiden in the 1v4. He can't stay alive. Phase. The clean sweep on Splice there in round number four. Disappointing as well because you saw the active camo accidentally, or not accidentally, got popped uh, for Splice. They were pushing to be bomb site again. Attach has been there every single time. They almost had the perfect play call as well by going towards the B bomb site. Uh, unfortunately for them, Zuma with basically perfect shots was able to map somebody with the VMP. And after that, uh, it's very difficult. It looks just in that situation, phase one, all of their 1v1 engagements. Uh, Attach, who was by himself as well, had three players coming out. Adam wins the first one, backs away just long enough for the remaining players to push in. So perfect defensive round from FaZe, retaking the B-bomb site uh, as well as you could possibly expect them to. No snipers on the side of Splice this round. Attach still has one in his back pocket. So after that round five, FaZe is very close to tying this one up on board with Attach once again. See if he can pick up a first blood with the SVG. Hopefully doesn't take out his teammate there as he goes right in front of him. But looks like control of the B site will go in favor of FaZe after Joe's taken out by Zuma. Zuma is going to get double stunned. Of course, he has tack mass, so no big deal. It's just going to be that information getting used. Everyone from Splice is very aware that the bomb is going to be going down on B. So you see Raider beginning to make moves. He got rid of both the token systems. The stun comes in. That's when he makes his push. Both players on the head glitch. Raider cannot win the gunfight. Vance is going to be able to pick up one. Zuma is going to be there for the trade, but now he's got to turn around, trying to win the second gunfight as well. And he's able to finish it off. Josh cannot connect. Zuma's VMP shot right now is on point. And instead of the immediate 3 0, we thought Splice is looking very good again phase begins to make the comeback tying the series up wow three three the crowd went absolutely insane as we can hear them all in favor of the red militia over there of course there are people here cheering on the eu teams as well clayser stars to search and destroy one in three on the other side the streaks and everything that we saw from slice they still do have a dart for the most part a lot of that utility has been used in the streaks completely ended. Josh hits the middle bridge. Gonna try and set up another A push for Splice. And right here, should be a strike. There we go. First two in favor of Splice. The aggression completely catching FaZe off guard. Of course, Glacier was able to pick up one. Raiden gonna be the fair there for the trade. And just like that, Zuma is in a zero versus three. He's gonna fall to Josh. Uh, of course, he had that vision pulse in the situation. We've seen players pop uh, their specialists in very bad situations before. Zuma, though, with the discipline, not going to be using it. But you have to imagine, if he picks up one kill, if he yep. pops that, things could get very interesting in that situation because if he gets a kill, they know where he is anyway. He has nothing to lose by using it. Uh, of course, that's just a hypothetical. Spice, though, able to make the comeback again. The overdrive was popped. The aggression, though, was ending up favoring them. So we're going to see now how FaZe is able to respond. It looks like they're going towards that. And 
able. You're gonna have to watch him to see how he uses that psychosis. The nade as well can come into effect here if they make their push. And it looks like Splice was thinking that FaZe might try in this A push again. But look, they all go all the way on the outside of the map. But now Rated has pulled out the dart. They know the A push is on as he's not gonna see anything around B. Clacer, though, might be able to end the life. Yeah, Clacer's going to be able to hunt him down. He knows he's got to be somewhere in the far back. You see he's checking all of his corners. And, of course, that dart right now is now coming up behind all these players. Clacer, though, gets the kill. Now Splice knows where he is. The dart's going to be coming around. But two players have already fallen. The dart is only able to pick up one kill, and the bomb is going down. So this is going to be a 2v3 in favor of FaZe. And Nabel going to be able to get the bomb plant. And neither player from Spice is in position to trade. Josh, looks like he's going to try and pick up Attach. He's taken out. So That's Joe so left in the 1v3. Does not have Psychosis. Spots one in the corner. Cleans that one out. Turns around. Picks up oh the second God. as well. 1v1. Joe versus Clayster. And it looks like Joe's going to play this by dipping out. Clayster, though, with the R's playing all the way in the back. He's actually going to push in just to be sure to check the bomb. But Joe has gotten out of dodge. Does not have an incredibly in high amount of time to work with, though. Playing in the back, Clacer is going to be turned around, and it looks like he's going to jump up in the line of sight. Clacer being able to peek in the water. I think Joe actually saw him. He's going for the hunt. Going to have to pre-fire because he does not have enough time to get that bomb to fuse. So Clacer able to win that 1v1 situation. Joe made it very interesting. Going to be able to get the kill as well. So Joe working towards those streaks. He is going to be on a three streak. Either way, though, FaZe again being able to tie this one up at 4-4. Joe still 300 points away from really being able to to use any score streaks here, and we see Attach able to pick up the kill last round on Josh. So, 4-4 four, four, tie, the next team went two rounds. Ends this one, and ready, the way boy. these two teams have been playing so far, we've seen the constructive push, we've seen the rotations, we've seen the retakes. I would not be surprised this goes around. Eliminate the objectives. Well, it does appear that Spice is going to be heading back towards A. Now, what they did the first two rounds, they didn't go for an all-out A push. They played kind of like they were on defense, where they spread themselves out, waited for a pick, and then went on the rotation. This time, though, pushed up aggressively, raided, already making his way across the bridge. And it looks like Josh, though, able to get the first blood. Glacier is able to trade that out, but he is just one shot as can possibly possibly be, so he's got to back up. Now, again, Splice, they've rotated back towards B multiple times. Phase though, looks like Attach is still going to be watching the mid cross in the event that that happens. Enable, waiting for a player to push up these stairs, and of course, Vance is going to be doing exactly that. Vance playing this very slow. Rated is the furthest back for Splice, and they might try and go towards that B side. Looks like really trying to figure out like, what they need to do, but as long as they wait, this time is dwindling down. Enable should be able to spot some of these psychosis drones. There we go. Spots the actual player as well. So that's huge for him. And now he's been stunned, Time's taken running out, out of position. Finish Joe this. comes up, wants to clean this kill. Placer picks up rated. That kill traded. Joe trying to stay alive here. Oh, Not no, able to were. pick up that kill. So that leaves You're Bance the in the 1v2. Standing. Bance just so got spotted out. The bomb pressure. is down. He's got an able bomb to his acquired. right. He has got attached to his left. He's going to be caught in a face sandwich, and that is not going to go well. Might be able to take down attach, but enable again there for the trade. I, I hate to be critical in this situation. I do not like that psychosis use, though. That's basically saying, hey, this is exactly where we are. You know, they had 30 seconds where nothing happens. FaZe might at some point think they're rotating back towards B because Spice has done it time and time again. As soon as you pop that, though, FaZe knows, okay, we can say and do exactly what we're doing. This is the right play, and they were able to pick them off one by one. All the credit in the world to Enable, though. That first gunfight he just oh, had, he yeah. should not have won. Uh, I, th I can't remember which player that was for Splice, but that is going to haunt him if they don't make this comeback. Phase now one round away from ending Splice's tournament run. And it would be the reverse sweep as well as Enable trying to spot someone. There we go. Knows that someone is there threatening in the water. The push coming out of phase attached. Picks up the first one, trying to pick up the second. The heat wave ensures he doesn't pick that one up. Vance answering right back, and players pushing him as well. And I like this play. Just switches spots. His teammate tries to pick something up. Joe spotted, taken out. Rated now left oh, in the no. 1v3. And Rated is in La La Land. He oh, is nowhere man. near his teammates for the trade, despite the fact that both of those players ended up being one shot from the previous engagements. He's throwing stunts in, but look at all of those red people coming Six from four. the side phase. Taking it down 6-4. They made the reverse sweep. They have all the momentum in the world, and that is going to make the FaZe fans very happy. Splice had a controlling hard point win, a dominating search and destroy performance, but FaZe does the impossible. And again, Luminosity did that to him first thing in the tournament. FaZe is bouncing back like.